The Breda 27 was a little-known fighter aircraft developed by the Italians in the 1930s. It was developed during a time when the Regia Aeronautica, the Italian Air Force, was beginning to explore the idea of transitioning away from the biplane to monoplane fighters. Though, as it would turn out, they would choose to stick with biplane designs for quite a while longer. Perhaps too longer, but that's a topic for another day. Now, at first glance, with its braced monoplane wing, fixed undercarriage, and a chunky radial engine, this aircraft had a striking resemblance to the Boeing P-26P shooter. However, this was not the case. It was instead inspired by a racing aircraft, the Travel Air Type R. The Type R's set numerous speed and racing records in the early 1930s, and when one went on a European tour, the Italian government were deeply impressed by its performance. They placed an order for a single example to be sent out to them, and this would be used by Breda as the basis for a new fighter design, the BA-27. The first of two prototypes was completed in early 1933. It had an all-metal fuselage with corrugated duralumin panelling clad over a steel metal tube frame. The wings and tail were still made from wood, though it is unclear if they were clad in fabric or if they were clad in sheet metal, but the former seems to be more likely. Power came from a 540 horsepower Alfa Romeo Mercurius, which was a license-built version of the Bristol Mercury, and it was hoped that this prototype would achieve a top speed in excess of 360 kilometers per hour. This optimism received something of a check when the prototype performed abysmally, and it was outright rejected as a fighter aircraft for the Regia Aeronautica. Its turning performance was terrible, the cockpit was located too far back, which hampered visibility, it did not achieve the desired top speed, and it was felt that the airframe was too fragile for high-speed combat manoeuvres, so not exactly fighter material at all. Breda then redesigned this aircraft, and a second prototype was completed and flown a year later in 1934, in June. This prototype was built with a reinforced and more streamlined fuselage, though it's unclear if the wings had their internal materials switched from wood to metal. But the cockpit was moved further forward, which dramatically improved visibility. This updated model had a wingspan of 10.8 meters, a length of 7.6 meters, and a height of 3.4 meters. As a fighter, it would be equipped with two forward-firing Breda 50 caliber machine guns, a potent armament for the early 1930s, and these were installed inside the fuselage, just in front of the pilot, and fired through the propeller disc courtesy of an interrupter gear. It was still powered by the same Alfa Romeo engine, but aerodynamic refinements now allowed for a top speed of 380 km per hour, a service ceiling of 9,000 meters, and a fairly decent range of 750 km. In flight trials, its handling had significantly improved, but even with this improvement, it was not good enough to secure an order. For the time being at least, the Italian Air Force would stick with the tried and tested biplane. But the second prototype was not a complete waste of resources. A military observer from the Republic of China had attended some of these flight trials, and he had been thoroughly impressed by its performance. Owing to the growing threat from imperialist Japan, China was trying to expand its modest air force as quickly as possible, and an order was immediately placed for 18 of these aircraft to be exported out to China. Eleven of these would be delivered before the outbreak of war with Japan appeared to put a stop to further deliveries, though sources on the exact number received are vague and often contradictory. An Italian air mission was supposed to support the establishment of licensed production of the Breda 27 in China, but it appears this scheme was barely underway before it was halted. During the war with Japan, the 11 BA-27s were operated by the 7th Pursuit Squadron of the 3rd Pursuit Group, under Hao Hong Sao. Details of their service is scarce in the extreme, but the Breda 27 would have been faster than some of the early aircraft fielded by the Japanese, and in general better armed. Whether it performed well is almost impossible to answer, 
but their small numbers would have made repairs and maintenance troublesome, so I theorise they would have been phased out pretty quickly. Either way, no records of them seem to exist at all post-1939, so it's either assumed that they were pulled out from service and scrapped, or they were lost or destroyed in action. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and a big thank you of course to the Patreon supporters. This marks an attempted return to some shorter aircraft overviews, which I'm going to try and focus on, as I'm working on a lot of uh, long videos right now, and I'd like to strike something of a balance. Sometimes bite-sized history is nice, you know? And it takes the pressure off me a bit as well. A big thank you, of course, to our Wing Commander tier patrons, our highest tier members, and, spoiler alert, some high-resolution, possibly 4K content is coming to the channel quite soon, so stay tuned for more of that in the near future. But as always, thank you all so much for your continued support, and I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye.